of the things that I want to start with is a lot of people ask me, especially the first year that I came before you, is why are you even here? Why is Goodwill here? Goodwill equals reuse, and reuse equals jobs. I hear that a lot, and, and I think it really still resonates with me, is that we have been doing reuse in San Diego since 1930. You know, we don't do traditional fundraising. I'm going to give you a few snapshots of, of what Goodwill stands for as it relates to conversation today, as well as it relates to our community and our partnership with the city of, of Oceanside, as well as waste management and many other people in the room. We actually create our revenue through the reuse of goods. We recycle quite a bit, but we reuse quite a bit. An amazing number for me when I even see it on this paper, it really takes me back, is in 2015 alone, our recycling efforts diverted over 15 million pounds from the landfill. Now, a lot of people ask me, does that include what you sell in your stores? That number does not reflect on what we sold in our retail locations or online or at our post-retail or aftermarket operations down at Otay and San Ysidro. At the beginning of this year, our organization adopted a zero waste goal. So it's official. Um, look, how, look how it's, it's like happiness right there. Happininess, yay. And our goal is 85% uh, diversion by 2020 and 90% diversion by 2025. In 2015, our diversion rate was approximately 76%. And a lot of people don't realize we're a large employer in this community. And we employ over 1,400 people, some with significant disabilities, many with barriers to employment, and a lot of other people are just really happy to come to work every day and do what we do. So the other thing, when I say that reuse equals jobs, it truly does. Because every time that we come up with or make an additional commitment to the community, it allows us to employ that many more people. You know, a lot of people ask me all the time, what do you do with all this stuff? Where does it go? You people are everywhere. You know, after hopefully after you see me speak today, you're going to go back and say that blue truck or that blue bin or that container is everywhere. We have expanded our services in San Diego significantly in the last nine years, but we have been here since 1930 in downtown. I think the only thing that is a little bit unique now is we do have the UDC program, uh, unattended donation containers, and we also have our storefront model, which is relatively new. There's only three in San Diego County, the, or city, and six within the whole community. Here's where the big numbers come in. In 2015, we received over 1,149,000 donations. And I hope from the bottom of my heart that they're doing it for a variety of reasons. Not only what, they, what we stand for and how many people we employ, but also that they've been listening to what we have been actively communicating about for many years now. And that is that we are reuse and we are committed to the community to continue to challenge ourselves as all of you challenge you. I think that the main thing that we also think is the fact that this goodwill is local. You keep it local, you keep your goods local, you keep your jobs local. Although we are part of a national brand, we are autonomous and operate within San Diego County. The goods in which we do collect in the county stay in the county. The tours. We do offer tours because a lot of people have no idea what we do. And it is evolving. I think that's important, is what we did several years ago may not be what we do today. And I can assure each and every one of you, it will not be what we are going to do several years from now. And that's part of our commitment, our commitment to say thank you for choosing us when you donate. And that's why we can keep getting better as all of you help us do so. So if there are people here that want to approach, especially April afterwards, and would like to have a tour, we'd love to welcome you. But we have toured everybody from the city of, of Oceanside, Poway, Escondido, partners in Chula Vista, the county, partners Edco, Republic Services, all the people that are really interested in what we do and why. But after every tour, I always hear, I did not know you did that. And the, that is a wide variety of stuff. We're up for the challenge. I think the squirrely part of my leadership is that I generally, like when Colleen called us and said, well, what about bulky item pickup? I said, yes. And then I went to my team and said, what did I just agree to do? <laughs> because she's pretty convincing. And, um, and I'm up for a challenge. So the combination of the two, especially in this ever-evolving business, I think equals some, some great momentum. Like Colleen reported, it was a pretty significant undertaking in terms of what it was going to look like. All the parties, our partnership with waste management and the city and my own team had to be up for every day was going to be different. How are we going to do this? Well, probably something I would think Anthony would say to me is, well, how can you think that you're not going to do this? Don't worry so much about how you're going to do it. Think about how you're going to face people like me when, you, when we tell you we can't not do it. 
So, you know, there's those moments where I challenge myself. But I think that the most important thing is it's a win-win partnership, not only with who we're partnering with now, but it's translating into different ideas, hopefully. Hopefully some of you will leave today and say, I never thought about it that way. I didn't think about bulky item pickup in that way. We collected things from barbecues to couches to small electronics to bed frames. But like Colleen stated, the second day for us and then going into the third day, the driver's passion for not only trying to outdo one another from the day before, but to generally say, did we do it right so that we didn't damage what we threw on the truck the day before? That was great. That shows an equal commitment. And it was fabulous. I think that the bottom line is this program can be part of an answer to so many of the diversion challenges. I give kudos to the city of Oceanside for tackling it first, but I think it's something that each and every city is going to have that same challenge. But um, we're looking forward to, to marketing a curbside upcycling concept. The uh, combined marketing strategies with waste management and, and us, I think, is going to be powerful. We are committed to learning together. We are committed to improving together. And we're committed to making a difference together. And I just can't imagine anything more, more spectacular than that. One of the things that I look before as I started with you today is why am I here? And that's making the connection. We're try open to trying new ideas. That's kind of what we're all made for. When I look at the history of not only the local goodwill, but the national, what we do today and what we started with doing many years ago is very different. And truly, the heart of what we want to do is to be part of a solution, be part of partnerships, and be part of the community. And with that, sometimes you have to figure out how to make things happen when you wake up in the morning and you think, I really don't know how that's going to happen. And you kind of got to go with it. Some people that makes nervous, me not so much. So maybe it's, that's why I stand before you today. I think that the biggest issue is to think about how goodwill can be a partner to you. Many of you are already in a partnership, I'm sure, and I certainly hope most everybody in the room already donates at the blue big box or shops in our stores or anything that we present. But really, I hope you leave going, wow, I didn't really realize that goodwill equals reuse. We will evolve. Our reduce, reuse, and recycling efforts will evolve, but our commitment and Goodwill's commitment to the community and to be the leader in the industry of reuse will remain within this community.